The rocket attack sirens have become the soundtrack of the past week in Palestine in Israel. More than 3,000 rockets have been fired towards Israel by Hamas and other Palestinian Palestinian groups. The Iron Dome was especially designed to protect against a range of incoming short-range threats. The system has its own roots in the war Israel fought with Lebanon's militant Hezbollah movement in 2006, when thousands of rockets were launched into Israel causing huge damage, mass evacuations and dozens of deaths. Israel said that a new missile defense shield would be developed. Although Iron Dome has been in use since 2011, it is this most recent conflict that has exposed its amazing capabilities to the Israeli public. As heavy rocket fire reaches multiple and widespread locations across the country, about 90% of the rockets have been intercepted by the Iron Dome missile defense system. The air defense system have been regularly blowing up incoming rockets and turning the night sky into bizarre fireworks like display. Many citizens now are breathing much easier knowing that they are under the protection of this wonder. So here's everything you need to know about this amazing defense system. Before we start, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to receive our latest notifications. So what really is Iron Dome? Designed and developed jointly by the United States and Israel, Iron Dome is an effective truck-towed, multi-mission mobile air defense system. IDOM is a mobile version of the Iron Dome defense system, which can be deployed on a single truck while SEDOM is a naval version. The system has been developed to encounter very short-range rockets and 155mm artillery shell threats with ranges for up to 70 km. It can be operated in all weather conditions including fog, dust storm, low clouds and rain. The all-weather air defense system protects the population in critical assets. It can be strategically placed to reduce collateral damage. Iron Dome detects, analyzes, and intercepts a range of incoming threats, including CRAM, precise guided missiles, cruise missiles, and manned aerial vehicles and air breathing threats. The system has so far intercepted more than 2,500 incoming targets with a success rate of over 90%. Selected by the Israel Defense Ministry, Iron Dome provides defense against short range missiles and rockets, which pose a threat to the civilian population of Israel's northern and southern border. One of the criticisms launched against Iron Dome was that it's a costly operation. Each battery reportedly costs $100 million, and each interceptor missile around $50,000. And yet, time has shown the huge impact of the system, not only in terms of saving lives, but also its protection of infrastructure. Iron Dome Missile System Features Iron Dome is composed of three fundamental elements, a detection and tracking radar, a battle management and a weapon control system, and finally a missile firing unit. The radar system has been developed by Israeli defense company Alta. The control system has been built by an Israeli software company Empress Systems, engaged by Raphael. The missile launched by the MFU of Iron Dome include the Tamir Inceptor missiles. It has several steering fins for high maneuverability and is equipped with electro-optic sensors. The missile system has day and night and all weather capabilities, quick reaction time, and salvo interception capability. It can also adapt to rapidly evolving threats and handle multiple threats at the same time. Other features of the Iron Dome include a vertical launch interceptor, warhead and a proximity fuse, mobile launcher, and capability with various radar and detection systems. The system's special warhead allows it to detonate any target in the air. After detecting and identifying the rocket, Iron Dome radar monitors its path. Based on the radar's information, the system BCM analyzes the path of the threat and calculates an anticipated point of impact. If the calculated path of the incoming rocket poses a real threat, a command is run to launch an interceptor against the threat. The incoming rocket is detonated over a neural area. The Iron Dome History Daniel told Israel a few years ago that his incentive was saving human lives. He saw what was going on, and with the technology that exists in Israel, they must use it to protect Israeli people. He promised to find a way and started creating one. Daniel Gold first proposed his idea for Iron Dome. 
He faced strong criticisms that required a lot of nerve to overcome. Luckily, he managed to convince the country's top brace of the advantages of his concepts of air defense. Between 2008 and 2010, the Iron Dome system underwent a number of comprehensive tests and was declared operational in March 2011. The US House of Representatives approved $205 million in funding to speed up the production and deployment of the Iron Dome. On April 7, 2011, the system successfully intercepted its first projectile, a rocket fired from Gaza towards Israel. The following day, the system successfully intercepted three rockets fired from Gaza towards Israel. During the middle of March 2012, a militant group in Gaza went on a rocket offensive against southern Israel. Firing nearly 200 rockets in less than 72 hours, the Iron Dome system successfully shut down no fewer than 52 rockets aimed at Beersheba, Ashdod, and Ashkelon. In November 2012, Israel installed the 5th Iron Dome battery at Goshdan in response to the rocket attacks on the Tel Aviv area. In August 2019, the US Army finalized a deal to purchase two Iron Dome systems, each of which include a launcher and missiles made by Rafael Advanced Systems, a radar array made by the Alta Defense Contractor, and a command and control center developed by the Empress firm. The US has plans to buy both two more units and to consider deeper integration of the Israeli air defense system. The US received its first of two Iron Dome batteries from Israel just over a year after signing a purchase agreement. The defense ministry advised that these batteries will be employed in the defense of the US troops against a variety of ballistic and aerial threats. The Iron Dome defense system has been upgraded to be able to deliver the capability to shoot down multiple complex threats such as rockets, or aerial vehicles, and missile salvos. The technological upgrade was tested in a series of three tests, of which the latest test was performed in southern Israel in March 2021. Currently, the new short-range missile defense system helps in protecting NATO forces positioned in Iraq and Afghanistan and India also signed deals for the purchase of the missile system. The Israeli government is in talks with a number of European countries to explore the potential sale of the system. The Iron Dome air defense system is now being used to intercept and shoot down hundreds of rockets from Gaza, as the latest round of escalations between Israel and Palestine in May 2021 engulfed the region. The violent clashes saw Hamas launch a barrage of rockets targeting Tel Aviv and Israel in response to an Israeli airstrike in Gaza. The death toll in the Gaza Strip as a result of the Israeli airstrikes stood at more than 60 people, but the Iron Dome has its own weaknesses. The system has a hype at unknown saturation point, which is the maximum number of rockets it can deal with at one time. If this number is exceeded, the Axis rockets will get through. The recent attacks looks like an attempt to overwhelm the system with more rockets than ever. The IDF claims that 850 rockets have been fired since the start of the latest escalation between Palestine and Israel. Also, the supply of Tamir missiles is limited and expensive whereas Hamas has reportedly stockpiled thousands of its rockets and other weapons. Sometimes Iron Dome launches two missiles against one rocket to ensure an intercept. If the defenders run out of interceptors, casualties could escalate rapidly. And we can see this in the most recent conflicts in response to the last Israeli airstrikes in Gaza. Some rockets managed to get through and landed in central Israel. The Israeli death toll reached seven. This is it for our video today, thanks for watching, stay safe and see you on the next one.